Hey, what is good my friends? Tredge here back with some more Helldivers 2 content. In this video, we'll be covering all the best stratagems to buy from levels one, and I'll be holding your hand all the way up until level 20, from which you'll be able to buy any stratagem that you that you desire. And there are quite a few stratagems that will tempt you to waste your hard-earned credits throughout your uh, journey. So I do think this video will be effective for you, and let's hop right into it. The first portion of this video will be covering the beginners from levels one through eight. It can be scary out there especially if you're not using the right stratagems you only have so many chances to escape so every second truly is impactful so immediately you're gonna unlock the orbital gatling barrage at level two for only 1500 credits and i'd say this is a must grab for a few different reasons uh, one being that the fastest missions to do are the terminate the broadcast it's a quick mission you can literally spawn in drop right on the broadcast drop orbital barrage or a cluster bomb which is a level three perk which we'll talk about in a sec and you wipe the mission you can head to extract it's literally 300 xp in like two minutes so for that reason i'm, I'm assuming at levels one through eight you're just trying to level up as soon as possible i highly advise you look into those missions but for that reason we're going to be equipping again the orbital gatling barrage at level two the eagle cluster bomb at level three they're both great for wiping out different objectives the eagle cluster bomb is actually going to be better for wiping out um the broadcast is mentioned or just destroying a structure whereas the cluster but i'm sorry whereas the gatling barrage is going to be really strong at destroying the eggs and we'll cover each of these more in depth here in a bit uh, but to finish off the loadout for levels one through eight you also want to grab the grenade launcher at level five for only six thousand credits this is going to be huge for eliminating the nests you know to destroy the spawns uh, same with the robots you can destroy their bases grenade launcher is going to be a must purchase early on in addition to that also at level five you get the gatling sentry for only four thousand credits uh, assuming you're not blowing all your credits on other things you'll be able to buy all four of these no problem early game and that loadout will be planned for you now we're gonna dive into each of them a bit deeper so rewinding a bit back to the orbital Gatling barrage at level 2 this is gonna help you in more ways than one. So initially, right off the bat, it's gonna be one of your first uh, airstrikes that covers a wide area, and it's not gonna be a single drop from the sky. It's gonna come down as a barrage, obviously, within its name. Um, in addition to being able to take out early enemies and allow you to cruise through early missions, it also, as mentioned earlier, can destroy eggs. So at level two, you unlock this, and you're already able to destroy eggs from a distance. You launch this thing in, and it has such a wide spray that it can take out all three sites and also 60 eggs essentially. If you don't get it on the first one, follow it up with an Eagle Cluster Bomb, which we'll talk about next. Next, diving into the Eagle Cluster Bomb, perhaps one of the best stratagems in the game, honestly. I'll say it. At level 3, you get it, and it really does stick with you uh, up until level 15 when you swap it for the 500 bomb, which we'll talk about later. But again, Eagle Cluster Bomb, level 3, allows you to destroy the broadcasts, uh, which is the best mission for XP. As mentioned, you spawn in, drop right on the broadcast, drop your cluster bomb and head to extract you're getting thousands of xp an hour to be honest if you especially if you get lucky with the reroll of missions if you get a lot of terminate broadcasts and i suggest hopping around the planets to check them out uh to see if they have those missions available that's the best way to get xp so for that reason alone eagle cluster bomb is going to be a must purchase for only 4,000 credits early on one thing to add, I actually turned my mic back on to mention this. You must warn your friends if you're playing with the cluster bomb. It has a huge radius, so while it does destroy the enemy, it will certainly take out your amigos as well. So make sure you warn them, but definitely packs a punch and is a must equip. Next, we have arguably the best support weapon aside from the railgun. We have the grenade launcher. So at level five, you unlock this for 6,000 credits. Again, assuming you're not blowing everything, you should have more than enough to purchase this. Uh, this thing is huge for clearing out nests, which you're gonna wanna do as soon as possible. You only have four grenades max. Maybe if you have a special armor, you may have a few more, but those grenades go fast. And especially if you're waiting around for resupplies, those bad guys keep spawning and spawning and it can be an endless nightmare. So the grenade launcher is gonna help you and your team get rid of those nests immediately and i will add these things have a lot more grenades in them than i'd expect um, so feel free to spam away at the nests. you want to make sure you can serve them to an extent but every resupply will fill those up and sometimes it takes more than one to to make it especially if you're like me i just can't hit the damn nest on my first try I blame the game, but it might just be me. And wrapping up 
the beginner section from levels one through eight, the last thing you're gonna to wanna to purchase is the Gatling Sentry, level five for 4,000 credits. Uh, this is gonna get you a long way for a few different reasons, especially for extract. So you drop this thing down and it's gonna cover an entire corner for you, especially easy missions, trivial, medium. During extract, they only come from maybe two or three directions with a Sentry, and if your teammate has one as well, that could be two less directions that you have to worry about. But I will say they do not hold up too well against the bug so while they will rip through 15 of them they only need to be smacked a couple times by the enemy before they are destroyed so keep that in mind also they will rip your teammate apart so make sure you don't run in front of the sentries they do not discriminate Next we have, we'll call it early to mid game from levels eight through 15. Also, I wanna note maybe a little bonus for you that at this point you should have enough medals to purchase the SG-225 Breaker. It's in my opinion, the best weapon in the game, at least the uh, as far as being able to access it early. And you'll even hang on to this late game. So don't waste your medals on anything too crazy. Make sure you save up for the Breaker. It's a shotgun on page four of the free war bonds. But now diving into again, the loadout. So. Before we hop into the new parts of this loadout, because you're gonna be swapping two from your old loadout, um, I wanna discuss the ones we're gonna be keeping and kind of the logic behind that. So the Eagle Cluster Bomb and the Grenade Launcher you're gonna be hanging on to. Uh, the Eagle Cluster Bomb for a few reasons, as mentioned before, it's the best way to destroy the broadcast, it's the best way to level up, and no matter what level you are, especially levels eight through 15, you still wanna be doing that as fast as possible. I strongly recommend it, I can't say it enough, to do those Terminate broadcast missions as much as possible i promise i won't say that again but again eagle cluster bomb also it's going to get you out of a few different sticky situations as you start going into the medium and even the, the hard missions um, beyond hard it might get a little tough but again this thing will hold up quite well against your enemies and also again discussing the grenade launcher you're always going to have to destroy nests as long as you're as long as you're fighting bugs there's going to be nests the grenade launcher until you get the railgun in my opinion is going to be your best back weapon but let's talk about our shiny new toys that you unlock at level eight. So at level eight, you're gonna unlock the jet pack as well as the mortar sentry. You're gonna wanna add these to your arsenal as soon as possible. Again, you'll be swapping the jet pack with the orbital Gatling barrage and you'll be swapping the mortar sentry with the Gatling sentry. Now highlighting the jetpack, this will be your favorite stratagem for quite a while, potentially until level 20. Uh, up until this point, you really had no way to evade, so you may be burning through your team's revives, or you may just be having a frustrating time. But now that you have the good old fashioned jetpack, you have an escape in nearly any situation. It's not something that you just hang on to and allows you to hover around the map. It's just gonna be a one-time use. I'm sorry, it has multiple uses, but it's on a cooldown, so you can use it. It's a one-time evade. It's not so much a hover it's good for evading and getting uh, high ground and then it's going to be on a cooldown but the good thing about it is you only have to throw it down once then you just wait for the cooldowns it's going to be on your back until you die then you'll have to pick it up so after a few minutes you can call one in for your friend as well but the jetpack is like a double-edged sword because once you equip it you'll feel absolutely naked without it even as a level 20 right now with the shield generator pack which is probably the best stratagem in the game i still miss the jetpack and i find situations where i would have survived had i still had my jetpack on so definitely enjoy it while it lasts you might equip it forever i'm not sure um, but it is certainly strong and it is a very fun stratagem again for taking high ground it's really good for getting on top of certain areas to take out eggs and nests and being um, immune to the enemies because a lot of them can't reach you. Next, again, at level eight, we have the mortar sentry for only 3,500 credits, and this is gonna swap out with the Gatling sentry, so say goodbye to that. The mortar sentry is going to do a lot for you, so really strong for extraction as well, just like the Gatling. You have to make sure you put it in a safe spot, though, because once they get to it, it defeats its purpose. So once you get good at figuring out the positioning, I really like using them at extract, and obviously before as well throughout the mission, throw it as often as you get it. But this thing has eyes in the sky, and it will destroy enemies that you don't even know are coming um, so you won't really see the damage it does you'll just see it shooting off into the sky but I promise that thing is your guardian angel and this is actually a stratagem that you're gonna hang on to for quite a while even beyond level 20 potentially it really is one of the stronger sentries and you get it very very low and to wrap up the video, we have levels 15 through 20, which we'll call mid game. The game's so close to being even more fun. There's so many stratagems you've yet to unlock. You might be a little bit behind from your friends, but don't worry, you're almost there. The, the light at the end of the tunnel is in reach and level 20 will be here shortly. Um, but in this loadout, we're only gonna be replacing one of our previous four. 
Uh, so in this case, we're gonna be swapping out the Eagle 500 bomb, which you unlock at level 15. This is a must purchase. It is Oppenheimer size when it comes to the impact. Um, and it's really cool as far as cinematics. Every explosion literally looks like a movie. Um, but again, you get that at level 15, you're swapping that with the Eagle cluster bomb, which we're gonna miss. And there's still ways that you can mix and match these loadouts. I'm just giving my input, just trying to save a few of you guys some of your hard earned credits, but there absolutely are more ways uh, than one to, to extract. But as you see in the background, this is a must equip at level 15. As soon as you can drop the credits on it. Again, the Eagle 500 bomb, the impact is unmatched and the cinematics are second to none. But that is all my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if I could save just a couple of my hell divers out there some credits, then it's a victory nonetheless. So I hope y'all enjoy your day. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Have they stories they be made up? I can't